Today I am going to talk about Noam Chomsky's contribution to language development. So language, it is the ability to communicate with each other using a language system which is unique to human beings. Language is the key to human endeavor. Thinking, memory, perception are all influenced by language. So language development is a process which by which children come to understand and communicate through language. Who is Noam Chomsky? He is an American born and a pioneering linguistic professor at MIT US who believes that we are born with a predisposition to learn language. Language is conceived by Chomsky as a set of finite or infinite amount of sentences, each finite in length and constructed out of finite set of elements. This process is called as generative grammar or transformational generative grammar, which is one of his main contributions to linguistics. For example, using 26 alphabets, we create n number of words and sentences on our own. We create and recreate to express what we feel and how we think about. He feels this is possible only when human brain is pre-programmed to quickly acquire language at specific stages in the developmental process which is contrary to the general belief that language skills were developed solely through watching and learning from our parents and other people in our environment. Chomsky offered a number of evidence to support his theory. He says that human babies are born with a core linguistic sense common to all language which helps them to acquire any specific language from the environment. Some of the other theories on language development. Earliest scientific explanation of language acquisition uh, was provided by Skinner who accounted environment influence through the process of including association and reinforcement. Additionally, Bandura described the importance of observation and imitation of others in language learning and development. There must be at least some truth to the idea that language is learned through environment interactions or nurturing. Research shows between the ages of 18 months to 5 years, children learn up to 10 new words every day. So contrary to these views, Chomsky felt language is a natural object, a component of a human mind which consists of language acquisition device helpful for learning languages. So what is language acquisition device? Chomsky believes that every child has a language acquisition device or LAD which encodes the major principles of language and its grammatical structures into the child's brain. LAD is a theoretical concept and not a component in our brain, is an intrinsic mental capacity which enables an infant to acquire and produce language. He was the first one to say that LAD is a hypothetical tool hardwired into our brain. Chomsky used it to explain just how amazing children are able to acquire language abilities. He stated that children will not commit basic errors which we do expect them to commit. I remember how my son and daughter during their early stages that is by the end of second year their speech abilities start to have a phenomenal rise and they were able to make beautiful sentences without much of mistakes. Initially, my son asked for water, single word. Then after a few months, want water, two words. And later on, I want water. And I never could remember him saying, water, want, I. You know, they never make mistakes like this. Chomsky asserts that children are born with instinctive or innate facility for language and hence won't make mistakes while using it. You can even think of yourself, a child learns language so quickly, can it just be by mere observation alone? There is something more into it, which Chomsky asserts that the child knows basic grammar unconsciously and subconsciously, and this has been in his genetic makeup. So 
So how they learn grammar is the next question. He observed children while in their normal use of language. He says that they have free expression which is not verified but speak based on native speaker intuition. Children speak based on their own intuitions. So grammar of a language should be thought of as a device or LED which aids in producing the sentence of the language under analysis. Such a linguistic analysis of a language attempts to sort out grammatical sentence from the ungrammatical ones over the period of time. Imagine a child of the age group of 24 to 36 months. The child will try to speak freely on his own and if particular string of words or sentence cause a feeling of wrongness in a native speaker, then it can be classified as ungrammatical and modified by the child her, him or herself. This modification is done by a lady and the amount of mistakes is relatively negligible when compared to the amount of sentences spoken by the child at a particular age. This process of language development in child or children is seen as a separate aspect of knowledge by Chomsky apart from the rest of cognitive or mental functioning. Chomsky developed LED in the 1950s and since then have moved on to the concept called Universal Grammar or UG to account for the rapid language development in humans. Now Chomsky argued that children will never acquire the tools needed for processing an infinite number of sentences if the language accusation mechanism was dependent on language inputs alone from this or her environment. So he proposed the concept of universal grammar. This is a revelation in itself. Universal grammar is the system of principles, conditions and rules that are elements of properties common to all languages, the essence of human language. He proposed that language structures is fundamentally similar across all languages. If you look at English, German, French, you know, uh, Hindi or Kashmiri or even Tamil or any other language, all languages are going to be the same, like they will have nouns, verbs, objects to form a sentence. So every language would be similar in terms of grammar, but vocabulary or words might be different. So he believed it is an idea, language is an idea of innate biological grammatical categories that facilitate the entire language development in children. Which means the child's task is just to learn the words of her language as children intrinsically know how to combine those words. For example, a girl is a noun, singing is a verb. The child has innate structures to combine it into a meaningful sentence that is a girl sings. This is possible for the child simply because of the linguistic faculty of universal grammar with which the child is born. In other words, the capacity for language or language faculty is a biological inheritance which is genetically determined by the specific languages are then activated largely through the child's interaction with the native environment. It's as if the child's brain is pre-programmed computer memory called ROM, where the user installs his or her own choice of software that is the RAM to function effectively, that is the regional language learning. So how children differ in their language development? Chomsky proposed this government binding theory in a 1981 book in which he says a child's native knowledge of syntax that is the biological entity consists of a group of linguistic principles that define the form of any language. These principles are connected with parameters or switches triggered by the child's language environment. In other words, if the language environment is vibrant for the child, then the linguistic principles of the child get stimulated and excited, enabling the child to comprehend the language better, that is language syntax, and in the process gain proficiency 
and versatility in using the language. That is why some children coming from English medium school speak well in English but others not even though they come from the same school. That means both environment as well as uh, the heredity factor has a strong and stable influence on the language development. So furthermore, the ch child's genetic inheritance or the syntax imprint grows and develops with the child starting from mother's fetus which is an analogous to the growth of internal organ determined by the de internal mechanism but nourished by the environment. So the government and binding theory is a theory of syntax and phrase structure of grammar in the tradition of transformational generative grammar developed principally to explain language development. So he also explains how creative aspect of language use gets shaped in individuals. As he claims children are born with an understanding of syntax, knowing a language is synonymous with the capacity to produce an infinite number of sentences never previously spoken and to understand sentences never before heard. This ability is what Chomsky calls it creative aspect of language. This creative aspect of language use refers to the kind of linguistic creativity that is displayed in every ordinary human linguistic production and comprehension. We all humans have some degree of creative means to explain or appreciate or express. For example, a person describing a beautiful house or the climatic condition of Kashmir. No, we all have this in us. So creative aspects of language is shaped by being free from control of indefinable external stimuli or internal psychological states. This can stimulate thought and self-expression rather than merely as a communicative device of report, request or command. No? This transformative generative grammar abilities when get strengthened and reinforced can at times result in birth of poets, story writers, script writers at the later stage of life. So there are few issues which are challenged by other linguists. Some psycholinguists question the existence of universal grammar. Investigators of universal grammar are still trying to convince that language is a task too demanding to acquire without specific innate equipment, whereas constructive researchers are strongly advocating for an importance of linguistic inputs. Another aspect of contention being, researchers started to suggest that instead of having language specific mechanisms for language processing as advocated by Chomsky, children might utilize general cognitive abilities and learning principles for learning a language. So let me conclude that the mystery of language accusation continues to keep psychologists and linguistics alike astonished decade after decade. But the ideas of Chomsky has brought about or created a revolution in linguistics because of the insights in the area of language development. It can even be dubbed as Chomskyan revolution. His significant contributions being some language abilities is innate. That's the first one. The second one being a universal grammar exists for all languages. And the third one being children are equipped with the language accusation device. Hope you found some interesting insight into Chomsky's theory on language development. Thank you for watching.